So I'm just about ready to go metal detecting here. Throw that thing down there. All my tools are falling out of my belt there. Right there. Okay. Let's go do a little test in the test garden here, or in the curb strip. I have a five inch deep clad dime here. It's been sitting there for a few years. Five inch deep. And I'll just turn the DS2 on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna compare programs here, general program, sensitive program, sensitive full tones program, fast program, park program, deep high conductor program, and then two programs that I have been developing for the last several months, couple years. Um, and I'm gonna test compare those against the stock programs. Huge difference here. Just turn the detector on here. This is version 1.1. So the dime is about right here, right there. General program right here. General program, ground bouncer. I know exactly where this dime is at, so. You can hear it clipping a little bit on it. Sensitive program, ground mounts. It's irony tone here. It's hitting it a little teeny bit there, but it's not really, it's really not hitting it. Right. Sensitive full tones program here. You can hear it come, coming through just a little bit there. The sensitive full tones has um, has a, a faster recovery speed. It's, it's chirp, chirping through there a little bit. Right. So it's right there. Go to fast program here. Ground bounce. Huge improvement, huge improvement. Right. But the fast program, um, it uh, it's really sparky. Um, if you're around any EMI right now, there's really not a lot of EMI in the curb strip. I'm really surprised that it's not going crazy right now. He's at least hitting it, right? Getting some numbers there. Right. Getting some numbers there, 80s. It's a dime, it's a clad dime at uh, five inches deep. At least a few years ago, that's what I buried it at. It might be a little bit deeper now, or it might be on its edge. I, I, I don't think it's on its edge. I think it's still laying flat. Park program. Park program has a lot of filters engaged, so, right, just silent. Just silent on that target there. Right. And it has a slower recovery speed, it has a lot of discrimination, it has a lot of some notching. High silencer, high bottle cap. Here's deep high conductor, right? Listen to the detector, right? This is what the deep high conductor does every time I turn it on, pretty much. Um, it's just too powerful. Right, just iron, iron tones. I'm getting some a little bit of iron tones on it. Deus Mono here. I don't, trying to ground balance this mono program to my soil has always been tough. It's way too slow of recovery speed. Reactivity is like down to two or something like that on there. I'll go to some of my st my programs here that I've been, the hot program. This is the hot FMF program right here. Let's do it. 89, 91, 96, 87. It's kind of jumpy tone there. And it's um the, the numbers are jumping all around. I don't I don't look at my numbers, right? The numbers are insignificant to me. That I don't care about the numbers. Um it's all about tones with the dais. That's why I don't have the the detector remote on the shaft. It's tonal. Now here's a mono program. Um, discriminated to nine here. Um, 
this is uh, running at, um, let's see here, what frequency is it running at? 40 kilohertz here. Mono program, three tone. Here's a four tone mono program, 40 kilohertz with a minus six point discrimination. Minus 6.4 discrimination. You can hear that, the iron coming through there, but that's that coin down there. It's the iron tone, right? That's the masked soil there. Here's four tone multi-frequency. This one does pretty good on coins. It is a coin I'm going for here. All right. Here's the coin and jewelry program, 40 kilohertz. This is a single frequency. There's no way. Single frequency. It's really hard to ground balance this machine in single frequency in mono program. Here's the hot program mono frequency. Full tones, basically full tones here. And it, this is at 17 kilohertz. I got a ground balance here. I'm way off on my ground balance. It's really screwed up ground balance here. It's, see the ground balance? All right, it's all screwed up now. Right. It's hitting it pretty good there. Now here's the VCO program, which I've been using a lot lately. This, this freaking program is just so amazing because it's so simple. It's just so simple. All I have to worry about is my discrimination. Let's do it. Just smashes the crap out of it, and this is this is the uh, this is at 44 um, discrimination. So my tone break is at 44 here. Listen to it. Right. I think this target may have went on its edge there a little bit, maybe sunk down a little bit on its edge there. But I'll I'll tell you my settings here. Um, I, I I'm really liking this single tone, the pitch tone here. So when I first turn the machine on here, this um this program is this program is uh, based in the fast program. I can set it up in a sense that a full tones program, the the fast program, the general program. It matters my soil. It really matters on my soil which program I want to use for these configurations here. This configuration. So discrimination 44. If I get into a spot that I've really beat up really hard and got a lot of coins and a lot of deep stuff out, I'm going to drop my discrimination down and try to find some gold and some some more masked targets there, right? Because um, I'm in 40 kilohertz, the upper range frequencies here, so I'm running. A broad range of frequencies and it really matters what program you're in to what frequencies those are still running um, and the different programs have different filters in them too so discrimination 44 pitch tones bottle cap one notch zero zero silencer zero tones pitch okay and 95 sensitivity all my programs I like running high sensitivity really high sensitivity 40 kilohertz so i've i've pretty much dug most i found most of my targets and i had the least amount of problems and struggles in 40 kilohertz in the higher frequencies with this machine ever since day one with this machine the higher frequencies got me the most targets out of the ground Iron volume 9, reactivity 4, auto response 2, threshold 0, and my tones are at 507, my 507 hertz. The um, audio um, filter's at 5 here, that's the whole trick, audio filter 5, high square tones.